Welcome to our single sign-on technology module. In this module we will discuss Kerberos single sign-on technology and we will also discuss Sesame single sign-on technology. Kerberos single sign-on technology is a secure protocol which allows authentication in client server network environments. This is used in Microsoft Windows Server's domain controller to provide authentication. It uses symmetric encryption and the user is able to authenticate to the network using different credential options such as a username and password, a private key, smart card, biometrics, or perhaps a combination of these methods for multi-factor authentication. Once the user is authenticated into a system, they are provided with the ability to access several different systems, and we call this single sign-on because the user only logs into one system, but then they're provided access to many different resources or systems. With Kerberos technology, messages are protected against eavesdropping and replay attacks. Here we will look at the steps involved in Kerberos authentication. First step when a user attempts to access a service is that an authentication server request is sent requesting a ticket granting ticket or TGT. The authentication server replies issuing a ticket granting ticket. Next, a ticket granting server request is sent with the ticket granting ticket asking for a ticket for service A. The ticket granting server then replies issuing a ticket for service A. An application request then occurs where the ticket that was issued is then sent to service A and an application reply then occurs which ultimately grants access to the user since they have been authenticated. Here we see some of the components that make Kerberos work. Kerberos uses a key distribution center or KDC. This is a service that holds and manages all of the users and services credentials and keys. It's used to provide secure authentication to entities, we call these principles, and these could be users, applications, or services. And it can also provide security services for these principles in an area we call a realm. Our authentication server does certificate-based authentication, but it doesn't provide credential tickets. User credentials could be stored here, but generally this works with Active Directory Database, and that's where the user's credentials are stored. The authentication service will authorize users to request tickets. The ticket granting service is what is used to issue the tickets to authenticated users. So once the credentials have been verified, a ticket is provided, it is time stamped, and it will expire after a few hours. Secret and session keys are used to secure the transmissions between the user and the ticket granting service. And the ticket is shown by a subject to an object that they're trying to access within their realm in order to request access. Sesame, or the Secure European System for Applications in a Multi-Vendor Environment, was designed as an improvement for Kerberos. It uses public key cryptography to distribute secret keys. This will help to reduce key management overhead. And it uses symmetric keys to encrypt and decrypt data for efficiency. It has more access control features than Kerberos and also is easier to manage. And it uses two types of certificates. One is used to authenticate the subject and the other contains the subject's access privileges. And just like Kerberos, it is vulnerable to impersonation attacks and password guessing. This is why it's important to have your users utilize strong passwords and also require them to change their passwords frequently. This concludes our single sign-on technology module. Thank you for watching.